Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be telling you about more Me Made May makes. There's an alliteration for you. Uh, as well as if you wait around until the end, uh, I'm going to be showing you how you can win my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So exciting. I have more new vloggers to introduce you to. And as always, all you have to do is go share the love on other channels, come back and tell me who you found, and I will enter you into winning a prize. Now, what prize am I doing this time? I'm doing a PDF pattern from Closet Case Patterns. So I'm gonna suggest that you get the Charlie Caftan because I've done two of those and I love that pattern. It's absolutely amazing. But any pattern that's the same price as the Charlie Caftan totally good I'm really excited to send off that PDF pattern to somebody um, anywhere in the world of course uh, all you have to do is go visit the other vloggers that I'm going to introduce to you at the end of this video come back tell me who you found tell me who you loved tell me who you left some love for and uh, I will enter you so me made May continues and I have to say I am loving it I'm absolutely loving it I'm loving wearing the things that I'm making I'm loving figuring out what else I want to make and I think that I'm kind of of moving towards just wanting to wear almost all me made um, I just really dig it so I think it'll be fun to continue along this process and by next May I'm thinking I'm gonna be at a really good place to do it entirely me made 100% in May maybe not 100% of my wardrobe um, but definitely 100% of May okay so what am I wearing today well I realize these are two things and one of them actually I did have last time and I forgot to show you so let me stand up so this is a jean skirt that I did from a pair of jeans that I was actually gifted. So these are secondhand jeans. And I used um, the really great video by the Stitch Sisters, and I'll link that below. It was so super fast. I finished it in one evening, easy peasy. And as long as the jeans fit you on the waist, um, you can kind of make them fit all the rest of the way down. So if you can use like, you know, old boyfriend jeans or whatever. This is just so comfortable. I've worn it a bunch. The top is a Mandy Boat tee. And this is the second Mandy Boat tee I've made. I really love the line on it. It is so fast. It's so easy. One thing I have noticed with the Mandy Boat tee when I see it on Instagram and stuff like that, I notice that it's really very big and bulky on people. And for me, it's not. And I've come to the conclusion that I think I printed it off wrong because <laughs> I'm a fairly small person and I even find that I have to make um, the arms, I have to sew them at a lower, a smaller um, seam allowance because I do find it really snug. So I think that I printed it off wrong, but happy accident, it actually fits me really, really well. And actually this necklace is, I found this in my mom's jewelry and it's uh, a Taurus necklace, which um, my mom was not a Taurus, but my sister and I both are. And since I'm the firstborn, I'm guessing that someone got that for her um, because of me being born. So it's kind of nice to get to wear that. So next is a dress that I actually made about two years ago, almost two years ago. And it's one of the first things, if not the first thing I made in knits. And I'm gonna hold it up for you. So this is a dress that I actually copied from a Joe Fresh dress that I like. And the neat thing about it, I know I'm headless right now, but is that it's a full envelope dress. So it doesn't, it, it folds completely 100% over. And um, I remember sitting down, I remember like cutting the whole thing and like tracing it and, um, and overlapping the two sides. Um, so that they basically enclose this front portion. Now, I did not finish the edges because I had been told, oh, well, you don't need to with knits, but especially with a loose knit like this, you kind of do need to, so I will be doing that, but it's unbelievably comfortable. Um, I made a little belt to go with it. It's interesting to see things that you've made when, you, um, when you're just starting out. I mean, I'm just starting out now, but like more so and see, you know, how, what, what things you were doing and kind of your sewing personality and how it's changed. Now, luckily I do have more of this fabric, so um, I didn't do a back neck band either. So I'm gonna do a neck band, I'm gonna finish off the armholes because it is comfortable and because of the way it was a full fold over, the front neck band is enclosed. So yeah, it's just a really very cool dress. I think this would actually be an awesome pattern for someone to make gotta say. Lastly is a dress that I made using the Durango tank, the free Durango tank pattern. I've made it twice and I really love the fit. It fits me really well up top and so I thought why not lengthen that into a dress. So here's what I made. 
I made this from bamboo jersey from Blackberry, uh, Blackbird Fabrics. I was gonna say Blackberry Fabrics, not right. Um, this jersey is just dreamy. I mean, it's just so drapey and beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really, really comfortable. And uh, without something to fill it out, it does look a little, a little wrinkly out here, but once there's a person in there, <laughs> It works fine. Um, I think I may have finally, finally done these armholes right according to the uh, according to the instruction. I'm not not for sure, um, but I do. I love the neckband on this, and I love the shape of it. So how I did this was um, I took. Oh, and I'll insert some pictures. So I took the Durango tank pattern, and I literally just let it drop all the way down. Um, and I used the bottom, the literally just the bottom part of the sew over it Molly dress. So just the part that extends below the top. I have those in two separate pieces so that I'm able to cut either one. And I just put that at the bottom just to give me a sense of length and how, you know, and shape. Um, but really it was pretty much just continuing to follow the line of the Durango tank. The other thing I did was the back of the tank is cut two pieces then you seam it up the back which is a really nice detail but I didn't want this dress to be as racer back I wanted to be a little bit more flexible in terms of what bra I wore underneath and I didn't need it to be quite as sporty so I just used that and cut it on the fold and by doing that I was extending the back you know this much or whatever the, the seam allowance was on both sides and so it just gave me a slightly less racer back um, shape on the, on the back of the dress so again really really comfy I absolutely love it and then here are the rest of the outfits that I wore in the last nine days I'm doing it by nine days because it's a nine day grid <laughs> so the last nine days um, this is what I wore uh, I got a, a nice mix of things and I actually wore a dozen different me maids and only one thing was not me made the white blouse that you see paired with my culottes from last week and actually there were some days where I wore two sets of things because if I went to yoga in the morning I would wear um, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt that I made and then I would you know switch it up when I got home and wear something different so it's definitely easy to um, to find something you made to wear every day and uh, it was also felt really great it felt really good to, to say that I could go into my closet and find things that I made myself to wear every day that I really actually like and I really enjoy wearing and that fit me well and that are finished well and that are really good quality Okay, so here are the new vloggers I have to introduce you to. I hope that you have fun going around, seeing new people, um, seeing what people are making, leaving them some love, leaving them a comment or a subscribe or um, a thumbs up, whatever it is. Speaking of, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, I release videos every week, sometimes twice a week. I've got lots of plans coming up and I've got some really interesting interviews coming up actually. One with a fabric, online fabric store here in Toronto and another with a local designer. So if that interests you at all, please do subscribe. I look forward to sharing my sewing journey with you. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to watch for the videos. Bye. If you've enjoyed the videos, if you enjoy this video, please like it with a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and remember to click the notifications bell to hear about all the new. This is the Renfrew top from Sewaholic. Uh, this is a really great. Yeah, really well. Um, the uh, I think I'm on the fourth thing. I don't know. Four. I don't know, must have. But anyway, this fabric, my, my children, my two oldest children were in Japan this summer. And they, see there, my son came back with this fabric he had purchased for me. And uh, can be really deceiving. Um, and so that that's great. But I love this dress. It's fun. It's cute. I wore it out for a date night. Again, my hubby loved it. So um, I'm really happy with it. Headshots, so this is a headless wing. Here you go, and then just one other thing which might be a handy hint when you're doing belt loops, it's quite thick fabric that I got from Sea Salt. So I have made those, and I'm absolutely over the moon with this jumpsuit. Um, I'll, this is the jumpsuit here. You can't see it very well, so I'll put a picture of me wearing it. And um, yeah, it's basically quite a fitted bodice. 1616 uh, view B.
which has the high low hem and the yoga waistband um, and it's not gathered right because I've decided I don't want anything gathered around my waist so I made a white linen Hadley top um, and I love it 